welcome back to my youtube channel in today's video i'm going to be telling you all about my lip filler experience i've had my lips done now about five six times so and i've never done a video about it so i thought i'm going to sit down and just update you on on my latest filler i had done a week ago today so i'm just going to run through what is lip filler does it hurt how much can it cost how long does it last and everything like that if that's something that you're interested in please stick around. A little disclaimer, I know not lip filler and cosmetic surgery and things like that is not for everyone. So if this is not for you, just click off the video and try and find something else to watch because it's not gonna be for you. This is just something that I like having done and I know other people like having it done. So I'm just sharing my own personal opinions and my own personal experience. So I'm going to just start off with what is lip filler. Lip filler is basically hyaluronic acid which is naturally already found inside your body so you're basically just injecting it back into your body and it's the same that is what's already found in your body basically and it's used to just fill your lips to change the shape to give them more definition you can also use filler in your cheeks in your jawline I think I've never had any of that done I've only had my lips done but you can use it in other places on your face. I just want to also say, please make sure you go to someone who is fully qualified in administering lip filler. You do not want to go to someone who is not fully qualified and not fully trained because it can go terribly wrong. Now, I do recommend you go to someone who is a nurse or a doctor even, just because you do not want to mess with your face like that. You don't want it to go wrong. You want someone who you can trust and who's fully qualified. So the main question that I get asked and I feel like everyone asks this, is is it painful and does it hurt? It isn't really painful. They do numb your lips with a numbing cream and this is left on normally for around 10 to 15 minutes. So you have plenty of time to work in and to make your lips numb. The only bit I find that really, really does hurt is the cupid's bow area. So this bit here, especially the bit right in the middle, that is eye watering. But it's over <laughs> within like two seconds. It's in and out. That is the worst bit. Everything else, like especially my bottom lip, I can't feel at all. I can feel like something's there, but I don't feel any pain whatsoever. Another common question is, can you actually feel the filler in your lips? You can't, you can actually feel the filler if you touch it, like obviously if you poke it, poke them basically. Um, they just feel like they're ballooned up, but it's, it doesn't feel like anything much, <laughs> to be honest. They obviously do feel bigger, but it's not painful and it's not tight or anything like that it just feels natural so it basically just feels like your lips but bigger so the healing time for lip filler is around five to seven days i would say i've only just fully healed i'm going to say yesterday and today my swelling's fully gone down this is my shape afterwards and i will show you before and after pictures in a second but yeah you can use arnica cream to take away any bruising and i think it helps with swelling as well I think you can take antihistamines for swelling as well. Um, yeah, so Arnica cream and antihistamines really help with the healing process. Personally, I don't bother just because I'm not really affected by it. And I feel like the swelling does go down pretty quickly. And bruising, I can just cover up with lipstick and lip gloss and things. So lip filler does last for around 6 to 12 months. My last, not my last lot, my set before I got before I was pregnant with Brody, actually lasted around 18 months. But I don't know if this is just because I was pregnant and I had loads of water weight and it was just, my lips just really blew up. But yeah, it lasted for around 18 months and I only had one meal. But to help keep your lip filler and to make it last longer, you do have to keep hydrated. My lady who I go to now recommends to drink lots and lots of water one to two days before you have your filler. And then the about, oh, she says a few days after, but I'm going to say like the next week, just make sure you drink so much water. The more hydrated you are, the better your filler is going to stick and stay and the longer it's going to last. So you get your money's worth. So last week I got one meal of Juvederm into my lips. I basically just wanted my natural lips, but bigger. I didn't really want anything changed. I liked the shape of my lips. I like my cupid's bow to be a little bit more defined. So that's what I asked for. So I'll show you my before and after pictures now. So this is my before picture. I do have really dry lips as well. And I do find when I get filler, it helps keep my lips a lot more hydrated. And this is them straight after with loads of swelling. They haven't stayed this big, I don't think anyway. Um, and now this is my lips now. So this is a week later, they're fully healed. I think I just have a little bruise left on my bottom lip. 
but nothing major um and yeah i'm really really happy with the results i love how they've turned out i love the shape and yeah i'm really happy with them i have nothing bad to say about lip filler as long as you go to someone who's fully qualified and not someone from like who doesn't know what they're doing you're going to be fine and you will get really really good results so yeah like i said you can get so yeah like i said i had juvederm but you can have other brands as well i think there's a million revelax i think there is i think that's quite a new one and yeah i think there's a few others as well but they're the main ones i think juvederm and a million are the main two that people have juvederm is super super popular especially in my area anyway most people do get juvederm and i've had no problems with juvederm so i think i'm just going to carry on having it i think i was going to try out revelax Rev i think i'm saying that right revelax revelax um last week but i was like i haven't had any problems with juvederm and i don't want to change brands and then i have some problems with them so i'm just sticking to with juvederm for now i really hope you enjoyed this video and you just learned a little bit more about lip filler and seen my personal experience with it if you like this video in usual fashion please make sure to give it a big thumbs up if you want to stick around for more videos don't forget to subscribe and come and join us over here and yeah i'll see you all in my next video guys bye be all right yeah i know we'll be all right we are closing in on heaven and i know we'll be all right be all right be all right yeah i know we'll be all right we are closer now than ever